uh, the term CTCL comes to us from the late 70s when people figured out that there were T lymphocyte disorders and B lymphocyte disorders. So it's a bit antiquated now because there's many cutaneous T cell lymphomas, the most common of which is mycosis fungoides. A subtype of that might be Cesare syndrome. And then the next most common kind would be uh, this kind of whole group of disorders called CD30 positive lymphoproliferative disorders. They include things such as lymph lymphomatoid papulosis and uh, primary cutaneous anaplastic large cell. And then there's a bunch of other cutaneous T cell lymphomas that are even more rare. Uh, mainly dermatologists would do the biopsies. Um, usually a tip off would be a rash that doesn't uh, want to stay away or go away with topical steroids. Um, I would say less commonly internists or oncologists would send their patients to dermatologists. I think that uh, these groups of people aren't really thinking about cutaneous T-cell lymphoma when they see a rash. Um, less commonly in the, in the case of somebody with Cesare syndrome, which is where the person's all red and has circulating cells in the blood, you might diagnose them by doing flow cytometry of the blood uh, rather than a skin biopsy, which even though their skin looks grossly abnormal is sometimes not helpful. In the earlier stages, when it's just limited to the skin um, and there's intervening areas of normal skin, there's no tumors, you actually treat it by directing treatment to the skin where you'll kill the bulk of the malignant cells. So, and this is so um, odd for an oncologist, you would treat the cancer with light therapy or by putting a topical nitrogen mustard uh, on the skin, which does not get absorbed, uh, or you can even use topical retinoids. But as the disease becomes more advanced and people maybe have tumors, thicker lesions, or have Cesare syndrome where they're all red, or lymph node involvement, then you would move to systemic treatments. We don't usually use combination chemotherapy. There are some chemotherapeutic agents that are used, but we also use a lot of agents that are sort of unique to mycosis fungoides, like HDAC inhibitors, brenduximab-bidotin, which is a, a chemo antibody conjugate, and, and uh, other kinds of treatments like interferon, which you know, we don't use so much in oncology uh, elsewhere.